Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, well, my extra turn for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. So these are the Aries individuals that are currently interested in the idea of uh, reconciling with an ex or an ex reconciling with you or both of you are consider considering reconciling with each other so uh we are going to take a look at your current mutual energies between you and your ex and then we will see uh what um caused the separation between you two and uh, we'll finish off the read to see if there is any possibility of, of reconciliation. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on new videos that I'll post on my channel. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate. Uh, to the individuals that need to hear this and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Um, also share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this and um, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Um, I think I said that. Uh, those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, guys, let's get started. Uh, what are the current mutual energies between Aries and their ex, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for uh, August, for September Justice, Libra energy. All right, we have the Sun, uh, Leo energy. All right, Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, Six of Cups. Well, I feel like you guys' current mutual energies are that you guys are thinking about each other. Well, Aries right here with the Emperor. So either one of you or the other or both of these are thinking about each other. I don't know, there's this energy of tired of waiting or something like that. Tired of waiting for someone. Tired of waiting for someone to change or waiting for someone to heal here. It feels like you guys did have some sort of tarot moment here. Could have been the universe stepping in to help you guys out. But let's see. Why is justice here? Why is just why is justice here? justice and the empress so we have an empress and an emperor so we have a true pair a soulmate connection why is the sun card here the sun card and the moon so i'm feeling like maybe there was i mean i i i feel like there was a bit of an imbalance i mean there's like there's a moon here and the sun maybe one of you were like you know always happy optimistic and then the other one was very secretive and sort of maybe pessimistic or something like that uh why is the nine of wands here the nine of wands and the star why is the two of wands here the two of wands and the knight of cups so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Cups in the Chariot. I do feel like both of these are in this energy of wanting to move towards each other here, I, I feel. Because I feel like both of these are missing each other a lot. Why is this Emperor here? The Emperor and the Nine of Swords. So I feel like we have someone here that might be dealing with mental health issues. Because, like I mentioned, I feel like... Both of you guys are like polar opposites. One is like, you know, happy, optimistic, and the other one is a negative Nancy. 
there's nothing, I mean, it's not their fault, but it's sort of like, maybe it's sort of the thing that led to separation here, led to an, end, uh, led to an ending. So let's see. What caused the separation here between Aries and their ex? What caused the separation here between Aries and their ex? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. So Aries, you can feel free to place yourself where you see fit. Take it as it resonates. I mean, even though this emperor is Aries energy, I mean, you could be this empress here. Um... Because we have someone here who is like balanced in like all areas of their life. And then we have someone here that, you know, is going through some issues here. Ace of Swords. All right, we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre Empress Energy, Four of Wands here. In the star, I, I'm just feeling like we have someone here that probably didn't really accept the truth for what's going on with them. I feel like someone here refused to heal. I feel like someone here offered someone some sort of help, resources to heal. Uh, but I just feel like someone here was really resistant about it. I just feel like someone here just kept running from their running from the truth. All right, why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is this Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords and an Empress. So I feel like there's an energy where someone was telling someone the truth about what's going on, and I feel like someone just couldn't handle it. Why is Temperance here? Temperance in the Hierophant. Someone was offering someone's resources, offering, you know, help, but I just feel like someone here just was just focused on other things. Someone here was just emotionally... Uh, you know, an empty shell, not acknowledging their feelings here, not acknowledging that, you know, they're going through something. Why is this five of wands here? Five of wands and the page of wands. So I feel like every time you confronted this person, they threw a huge temper tantrum. Why is this nine of pentacles here? Nine of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. Nine plus one equals 10. Why is this four of wands here? You could have been married to this person. Three of Pentacles. I feel like someone here offered help. Someone here offered, you know, let's work together and try and transcend this. Why is a star card here? Star card and the Nine of Swords. I just feel like someone here was not okay with the truth and that's what caused the ending here. That's what caused the ending. That's what caused the separation. Um, let's see what else we have here. All right, will there be, will there be reconciliation between Aries and their ex? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for September 2021. swords on the bottom of the deck. We have the nine of swords three times here. Ace of swords. Five of cups. Two of pentacles. The tower. Aries energy. Scorpio energy. So Aries, uh, you're showing up in your read. Two of, two of cups. 
This is a strong soul tie and the Queen of Swords. I just don't feel like there is going to be any sort of reconciliation because I feel like someone here, whoever this feminine energy is, I feel like this feminine energy is going to be in this energy of really protecting themselves, protecting their boundaries here because I feel like if someone here doesn't make that change, I just feel like it's not going to happen. Because someone here, I feel like there has been multiple endings and betrayals regarding this person's mental health issues. Because this person, you know, when someone's going through that, they, they behave sort of out, out of character. I mean, it's not really them. Well, part of it is if, you know, if you, if, if you make that a part of you and you just don't really heal from it. It does become you in a way, if you're, if you're not doing anything to fix it. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Ace of Swords and the Emperor here, Aries energy. So, funny, because we have the Empress here with the Ace of Swords, and now we have the Emperor here with the Ace of Swords. Why is this Five of Cups here? Five of Cups and the Hierophant. Why is this uh, Two of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Someone's really conflicted here. I feel like someone here has a lot of pain internally. Why is this uh, tower here? A lot of sadness here. The tower and the seven of pentacles. I mean, I feel like someone here is looking back at their behavior. I do feel like someone here is looking to get some sort of advice, treatment here with the hierophant. Why is this two uh, cups here? Two of cups and hangman. Piscean energy. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Queen of Swords and the Six of Swords. Um, so, like I said, I don't know where you fall on this Aries. I mean, the Emperor is Aries energy, but we also have the Empress slash Queen of Swords. I do feel like until someone gets a handle on their situation, I don't feel like this uh, feminine energy is going to be uh, entertaining this relationship anytime soon because it's been put on pause here. It's been put on pause. It's been put on pause. So I do feel like this queen or this empress is moving on to something else or just moving to calmer waters because it's been maybe really volatile with the fighting and the arguing and stuff like that. Uh, perhaps this is affecting this empress's mental health. Yeah, I just feel like someone here just doesn't want to be stuck anymore. Yeah, someone here wants freedom. Because uh, I feel like someone took on someone else's fears too. You know, someone here took on someone else's fears, someone's anxiety, someone's depression. I think it just became too much for this Empress. So... I, I think only reconciliation will happen here if someone gets a handle on their situation. That's what I'm feeling here. So, all right, Aries. So this is your um, reading. Will my ex return? If this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Um, share this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.